This guy is unhappy. He's going to argue with the guy that's behind him waiting to check in the hotel. He went on booking.com, which I do all the time, and they got her his hotel room. But the room that's provided for him, he doesn't like. Let's see how she handles this. And you tell me at the end who got it wrong. The reservation on our phone is clear, but we reserved. Yeah. What do you expect us to do? Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation. So it has a king bed and a sofa pull out couch. What do you expect us to do? We need two kids and us. We can't all sleep with That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just, it's the way that Booking.com sent us the reservation. So all that we have is that, and we're sold out for tonight. Hey, I get that. So what do you expect us to do? That's my question. Well, that's what I'm saying. It. Yes, so we could either check you into the room or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two and options. Our car? You know, no, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, where else are we going to go? Are there any other Holiday Express hotels you can check us into? Is I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. You're not going to help us. You're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. Keep in mind, this room that they're talking about has like a king bed. He has two kids. I don't care if there's adults. There's a pull-out sofa that can some two other people can sleep on, but he's still griping. What I can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pull-out couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms to check you guys into. If it's regarding what you guys reserve, you would have to call booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from booking.com. Did y'all get that? Because I got it. But I don't think this guy's accepting that quite yet. He still got to go on. Here we go. <laughs> She's re regretting her career. <laughs> That's another thing, man. People are <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Who hasn't checked in? What else is available? We're four beds. We don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. You gave somebody our room, right? The way it was supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. So meaning when he went on Booking.com and that hotel room was cheap, he probably didn't check it. He was like, yes, Queen Suite. That's all he did and pushed yes, and it was over. Sometimes you got to pay attention because there can be a bed that has a handicap uh, shower or something. I know, I've been there and done that. And I didn't look, read the fine print. On booking, you've got to read the fine print. How did you think four people would fit in that room? I mean, when, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense? No, because booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation, and we hold it as it is. <laughs> He's mad. So you, think, so you think four of us can sleep in that room? That's your. How many times is he going to say that? So you th it's not what she thinks. It's what's in the computer, right? I could be wrong. I, I'm not too sure how you guys were going to, you know, do the setup in there. We just have the reservation as it was sent into us. Bless her little heart. She is trying. I don't know. You can see her stressing out. Look at her face. She's like, I did not sign up for this tonight. Holiday Inn Express. Hmm. And you have no other alternatives to solve it. We're completely sold out for tonight. <clears throat> I'm just stepping in, but you have a king bed and a pull off, right? Yeah. You have two beds and four yeah. kids. Two kids and us. And and it's not your business either. What are you doing jumping into this? Well, not, look, I mean, I don't I'm think that it's... It's not your business. I, it's, it's too bad. Okay. You know, yeah, shut up. Uh, that's not really respectful. I think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation. Then what are we going to do? You know, I'm not too sure, but there are a lot of hotels in the area. Why don't you just sit tight for a second? I will. I'll be here till 11. Oh! After she heard that, fight went on, boy. Because he got... Mind your own business, bud. Like, come on, man. 
people. Is she in the wrong for doing that? I mean, she has control. It's her duty as a receptionist that night or whatever you want to call her. Maybe she's the manager. Who knows? But when you start being rude with people and you see there's going to be an issue later on that night because that guy, if he stayed there that night and he's mad, he's going to come back to the front desk. He's going to find a roach in the room. He's going to find a hair in the shower. He's going to find some food on the ground somewhere in that room that she has reserved from him that he booked on booking.com. And this is going to be the end. She can see the future. Hmm. Have you ever been in this position before in a hotel where they just possibly stuck you in a crappy room? Or did you go back and look at your reservations with that third party? They always say, if you book with a third party, you're risking not getting your room. And it always says something to the extent of, this is a variation of the room you might get. Because this guy wanted them to get out. He wanted to take someone else's reservations. I don't know how old these kids were, but she did a good job. I think she did a good job. Am I wrong? Did she do a good job? Let me know. Like and subscribe. I love, I would love to hear your comments on that. Let's go.